So we're moving on. Uh, I've cleaned all this off. Now this is fixed. I've double checked that these are uh, these little bolts, nuts and bolts are tightened up. I've tweaked the securing bolts down. I've produced this for the back panel. So we've got an IEC socket, phono, two speakers. These are cheap um, speed 4mm banana type chassis sockets. Uh, I don't know where they come from. I've got packets of them I bought some time ago. Uh, you can buy you can buy very good quality ones, but just for now this will do for the purpose. This is um, rather a good quality phono socket though. And this is a standard IEC fused three pin inlet. So I'm going to, my next move is to put this together with various screws that were supplied with the kit, the chassis kit. Uh, countersunk. Uh, and this will go through there, pop up through that hole there, and then that will go on the top, and that will all become apparent. I've got some other, the rest of the nuts, bolts and fixings that came with the kit. We won't use all of them because they're for different kits, uh, but we'll use a majority. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this together. I'll be back shortly. So I've put this together. Initially, you just loosely... Do up all the fixings, the little nuts and bolts everywhere, just loosely until you get it square. And then you just go around um, gently, 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 nipping each one up until everything uh, lines up perfectly, which it does now. Uh, if you don't get it right, it's a right swine to get the top and bottom plates on because the, the holes don't line up. Um, so I'm now ready. Uh, I've put a piece of the cardboard that this came with, I've left the cardboard, take the cardboard on this front plate um, so whilst I'm working on it I don't damage it. I've got another piece to go across the top just in case uh, but it's, I'm just going to say it's just a matter of wiring it up now. Uh, the only difficult part are these front plate fixings here and here. They're a bit of a swine but you need a very long, very long bladed screwdriver to get at them uh, but <clears throat> thus far, uh, we're nearly there. Uh, another couple of hours of wiring up, terminating, testing, uh, and we'll be away. So I'll be back shortly. A few hours, wiring all this up, making up a harness. Uh, the only thing I haven't done is connected the input to here, which is my last task. Uh, but before I do that, I'm going to actually set it up and test it to make sure that it functions correctly and that we get some uh, proper bias. And I'll dial in some bias, as we know from my earlier test. Uh, it's around about 1.9 something. I, I, that was at 30 volts. I would imagine it uh, 50 volts. It's going to be close to 2 volts bias. Uh, and we'll see what we can get away with. Um, so I'll just go away for a minute, set up my meters, uh, and we'll be back. <clears throat> Let's see, here we go. Here we go. On. So. So this went up and it's coming back down slightly. This is at 2 volts, the bias. And if you can see that, just I think. 2 volts of bias. I'm just giving that a minute. Eight point nine. That's coming down slowly. Uh, <clears throat> these are set up for 55 volts plus and minus, exactly the same, both of them. The bottom one's the plus, the top one is the minus, the black lead goes this side.
We've got two volts. No smoke, no smells. All lovely jubbly. Uh, I think I'm just going to give this a little twiddle. I'll just move these off. I should rewire these so that I can get at these pots, shouldn't I? It would be much advantageous. I'll just move that. It will tweak for a second. Obviously, once this is set up, you don't have to touch them again. I'll take it to 2.1, leave it for a bit. If I can get me twiddler on. Here we go. Gently, gently. Up we go. I'm clock going clockwise. Two point one, no issues. That offset around about the ten millivolts doesn't come lower than that. It's still very quiet. Anything below fifty is brilliant. Uh, that's fine. Uh, nothing on towards there. I'm going to wind it up to two point two. I'm just going to leave it there now. Uh, I'm going to give this 10 or 15 minutes, <coughs> maybe half an hour, and I'll come back again. So it's been 15 minutes. This has dropped back a bit uh, <coughs> from your 2.2, .2. and this is start just starting to lift. We got 32 degrees. Sorry, 27, 26, 25, something like that, just above ambient. Ambient is uh, just pinging on the desk, 22 and 24. So it's just starting to lift now at 2.2. I'm just going to give it a bit more. Uh, there's no discernible warmth on these heat sinks at this stage. So I'm going to go to 2 1. Two two five. We'll see how that handles it. Gently, gently, gently. Two two five one. Be back shortly. There's been another ten minutes. No discernible heat anywhere. This has dropped back very slightly. Uh, we now have 27 degrees on the spreader. 30 in the middle. Twenty-four. The driver at 30, 30 degrees, 29, 30, driver heat sinks, these little ones here. Uh, so that's fine. The actual devices aren't hot at all. So I'm going to take this to 2.3 and wait and see. Another 10 minutes, 15 minutes. This is uh, just a balancing act as always. Uh, bias and thermal saturation where the, the balance is. 2.3 
don't know if you can see just here on the left no you can't this meter on the side here um, at 2.3 the whole device is drawing uh, 17 watts 16.8 watts at 2.3 So we'll leave that for another 10-15 minutes, I'll be back soon. So I'll go 2.3 and a half. Two point three five. We'll give that another ten minutes. So we've been at this for over an hour now, <coughs> uh, and there is warmth we have warmth on the output devices and I'm just going to tweak this the last bit to 2.4 and see how we go if it will go to 204 2.4 sorry 2.4 I'm going to leave it at that I'm happy with that thus far um, offset 9, I'm well under 10 again or thereabouts, floating around about 10 2.5 of bias there is some warmth in these devices now get a temperature gun on them uh, so they're 30 degrees thereabouts the heat sink 27 so it's wicking away very well I'm going to let this saturate for another half an hour and see what happens. Um, if it starts running away, it shouldn't do uh, with that amount of heat sinking. I think it might be fine, uh, but I'll monitor it every 10 minutes. Uh, I'm hoping, aiming for about 35, I think. 35 degrees C. Yeah, it's fine. Uh, these the heat sinks actually feel cool. Uh, I've also wired up a bit of an input uh, because I wanna, I'm not going to show you, but I'm going to stick it on a scope uh, before I put it on a pair of speakers just to make sure everything's hunky dory. Uh, when I say I put it on a scope, there will be 100 millivolts, one kilohertz sine wave into an 8 ohm load. Um, might be too much for my little excuse me load hope we can see that it will load these are 100 watt 8 ohm resistors on a big heat sink uh, it should be okay just for just to give it a sweep just to see everything's fine I'll just keep an eye on this over the next 10 minutes be back soon Another 15 minutes has gone by. Moved all the meters. We I left it at 2.4. Uh, it's just nice and warm, warm, toasty, warm to the touch. This power supply is still cold in effect. Um, there's a little bit of heat there, but very, very minor. Uh, and we have 37 on the spreader each end. And it wicks away to 30, 33 at each end of the heat sink. The device is 40 degrees, it's fine. 39, 42, I'm happy with that. Uh, it seems to be stable there. It's actually drawing 63, 64 watts of power continuously in a steady state. And there's it hasn't had to do any work. So idling, it draws. 64 there about 64 watts um, I'm going to leave this for another hour um, 
if I have to tweak the bias back a bit I will but at present it's at 2.4 I'm not going to force it any further uh, at a later date uh, probably in the next video <coughs> uh, I will have two of these so my next video will be a quick resume um, of this and in the next video you'll see me quickly build up uh, a mirror image of this one so the power amp board is going to be on this side and these are going to be on that side so these get it's getting quite warm so I don't want to if I stack them I don't want both of them generating heat the same side uh, the back panel will be exactly the same and everything else but it's just going to be a mirror uh, so that will be uh, in the next video where I'll do a summary of what I think it sounds like uh, and then there will be a follow-on video as I stated um, whereby I want to put another two uh, switch mode power supplies in this area and they will supply the front end the regs in the front end and these will just do the output stages and we'll see if there's any sonic improvement in that uh, I think there might be um, I like these uh, I don't know if there's um, any out there that don't doesn't like these switch modes they seem to do everything very well and many people use them uh, if there's a, a different application I can use different type or if there's something I can do to this to improve by all means please let me know uh, this is a learning curve for me so for now this is this video finalized I'll just do a final check on the temps yeah 37 40, 40, 35 each end of the heat sink, 32, 64 watts. So, yeah, no, that's fine. So, this is Laverda, the implementer. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Bit of entertainment. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.